chapter 14. Gravitation is universal for all phenomena of nature. In every field, in every manifestation of nature, there is an infinite extension variable in the measure of the time that contains it. Two zones sufficiently distant or at the distance of a co convenient radius is determined in a difference of spaces as two tendencies. Unequal towards the same density or amplitude in effect of two tensions that push each other towards this point of equilibrium through static action and reaction through continuity. It is a phenomenon of rest caused by the difference in times and nothing more. This is the centrifugal thrust and the centripetal thrust are the function of that cosmic unevenness by which times tend to be equal at each point and by which at each point we always have the equality of the times. Then we have the static effect of a temporary work carried out measurable only by its centripetal acceleration. The static field of centripetal acceleration, however, is not contained within a variation of time as marked or sensitive as that which we understand in the changes of gravity for each point of the continuum. Because the differences of that cosmic factor and the time factor within the same extension is very small, almost zero. Such large changes in a static acceleration through the field or natural space are only explained by the difference in inertia acquired between both thrusts, the centrifugal and the centripetal. An isolated point decentralized from the infinite field by thought has no gravitation and the spirit contemplates it as a uniform expression of time, with very small changes or differences in time, very intense gravity actions are achieved. Let's look inside our own terrestrial com cosmic. The time on our surface differs very little from that other in which a point contains many terrestrial radios. It is a very small difference in tension, and yet the centripetal acceleration acquired by inertia would exceed the centrifuge here, at our height, by a fairly sensible number of meters. The material integration of our planet and the infinite space field that completes it, cosmically or in the pure essence, only differs in the relative times that hold the, that hold the whole together as a gravitational mooring in the midst of the infinite multiplicity of nature in all its manifestations of gravity as the only possible physics. Electromagnetic phenomena, ipso facto of all this, have the same explanation before the spirit that contemplates them.